On this week's Zoo Montana segment, we catch up with Jeff and we're introduced to a member of our Montana this morning's team's favorite animals. Let's take a look. Well, hey, Jeff, how's it going again, man? Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you guys going well. A little chilly today, but it feels good. I know, man. All right, so let's get right into it, Jeff. Favorite time of the week. What animal are we being introduced to today? I'm telling you what, I get cuter and cuter. Well, not me, but the animals do. <laughs> look at oh, that. Look at that thing. Wait, is, Jeff, that, is not, that a porcupine? It is. It's a <laughs> North American porcupine. Her name is Lander. She came to us about a year ago as, a, as an orphan baby. Uh, she's eating a sweet potato right now, and she is just absolutely <laughs> adorable. Look at that. Oh. Look, so, Jeff, I think, for me, I think the most popular porcupine in history is the porcupine in uh, Homeward Bound, if you remember that. There's the dog Chance, and the porcupine, like, nails the dog Chance, and its quills get, like, stuck in the dog's lips, and they're pulling it out. Like, what happens? Do these quills, like, go in and then just detach from the porcupine? Like, how does this work? That's exactly what happens. So what happens is, so the thing is, is that everybody thinks that porcupines can shoot their quills, but they can't. They can actually okay. release their quills. So when something gets too close to it, what's going to happen is she's going to flex a muscle, and that's going to uh, that's going to cause those quills to stand up. And then obviously the animal that's too close to it, those quills will poke that animal, and then it gets stuck. And there's actually a barb on the end of those quills that actually allows those quills to get stuck in your skin. And get this, mm. it takes about 10 pounds of pressure to actually what? pull that quill out out of your skin it is a it's brutal it hurts it's not pleasant and it, it's definitely a good form of self-defense no doubt about that no jeff one more here you're really close are you nervous right there or are you like are you good i'm pretty good i've been around okay. porcupines a lot in my life you know, i have been stuck by them they're not pleasant but she's a pretty easy going animal in all honesty she does really well you know funny thing is i'd be more worried about her bite than her quills at this point with her now in the wild you want to be careful because you definitely yeah. don't want to get a face full of these guys that's for sure mm -mm. interesting and she's climbing that tree pretty well are they good tree climbers then they're incredible tree climbers. In fact, a lot of times they're not a well-liked animal in a lot of places because they can damage your trees pretty well. But what a cool animal. 30,000 quills on them. And what you're wow. seeing is you're seeing that fur on the top there. Her quills are actually underneath that kind of layer of fur that you see there. I'm not sure she's going to let me get a, a kind of a rear view over there, but <laughs> her quills are there. I can promise you that. Jeff, I was not, I was very surprised at how cute this animal actually is. I think this is my first time like up close to a porcupine. That's like a really cute face. That's like a surprising <laughs> thing that I got surprised of this morning. I'm That's totally exactly there. right. Yeah. They're, they're, a, they're a rodent. And rodents, as much as people don't like rodents like mice and, and rats and what have you, they are an adorable little animals. And these porcupines are no different. They're one of the biggest rodents in the world. But that face, they make that chewing sound. They're just, I just love them. I just love them. <laughs> They're always the animal I want to see when out in the wild, but they're actually still so elusive. But that face is so adorable. I can't get over it. <laughs> awesome, Jeff. Well, man, thanks so much again. This was always, it's always fun. And I learned something every single week. It's fantastic. Oh, thanks, man. Jeff. I love being with you guys. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. All right. See you, Jeff. Take care. I have never, you guys have interviewed or interviewed some very, very cool animals mm -hmm. with Jeff. And I've never seen Tanner quite that excited. I heard him squeal, Laura. He there, was a, there was a squeal at the beginning. Of, I didn't realize that uh, porcupines were Tanner's favorite animal, but apparently they are. That's and so there was a definite squeal at the beginning of that <laughs> as he was so excited to see that porcupine. It was pretty cute though, right? Absolutely. I'll have to go out and try and look for him this weekend. It's They're very hard to find, but if you can find one, that's exciting. Right. And if you are going out this weekend, Lauren, maybe dealing with a little bit of rain, maybe okay. dealing with a little bit of snow as well. 